Hey, Dave. Uh, a lot of these guys on the team have, have never been a part of an SEC series loss. I'm curious what your message was after the game today. Well, basically what I've told them all year long, that winning's really hard. And a lot of times in our league and in baseball in general, it's going to come down to one play, one pitch, uh, one swing. And, you know, today it was, it was probably that, um, you know, that, that, that it's hard. And uh, when you have a chance to put somebody away, well, you got to do it and, uh, you know, stuff like that mostly. And you've talked about a lot in the past about guys kind of tell you who belongs in the lineup and you just put them there. Zach Gregory, his performance today, was that kind of him telling you like, hey, I, I belong in the lineup? 100%. He's in the lineup. Christina? Um, I was also going to ask about Gregory, but more just kind of what you saw from him today and how well he did and what you make of kind of his ability in general to get on base. I mean, he did everything he could to help us win. You know, I loved it when he – when he took a pitch, he got hit by a pitch. You know, he took a big walk, obviously fought and fought and fought and finally dumped a double down the right field line on a full count, scored three runs. And and then his last, you know, the, the bat he hit the home run. I mean, he got ahead in the count as either 2-0 or 2-1. He got what he was looking for and he hit it 450 feet with that wind behind it. It was probably going 420 without it. I mean, he he did everything he could. And, uh, you know, we just need one more guy to have a day. And we just need another hit here or there. And then what did you see out of Tiger and his innings in relief today? Well, you know, he, he, he got himself in a little bit of a pitch count jam. I think he started a couple three hitters and he went three and oh, I think he came back and got one or two of them. And, you know, his pitch count got up a little bit, but uh, he threw the ball pretty good. Then he started throwing his fastball for a strike and, pitching them a little bit backwards from what they were looking for because they were kind of sitting on the breaking ball. And, um, yeah, I don't know. He competed hard. And, uh, you know, he just – he got sped up on the bunt. Wasn't that – I didn't think it was that difficult bunt. It was a bad bunt. We were looking for the bunt. You know, Wallace was looking for the bunt. We had just said, hey, my bunt, be ready. Plus, it's on scattering for it. But he just attacked that ball. And I don't think he knew he had as much time as he did. I mean, that was, that was a little wild. Andrew? Ellis. Hey, Coach. You know, a lot happened in the game, obviously, but the two big swings were the three-run home runs up yeah. into the wind. How frustrating was it that, you know, you guys weren't able to really take advantage because you've had a lot of bad luck with the wind and you weren't able to really have that big swing that flipped the game in this? Yeah, both of those balls, that, you know, the two three-run homers, they were both hit well, but they were, they were balls that wouldn't have probably gone out. I would say for sure wouldn't have gone out. They were just hit high. It would have been, you know, pretty fly balls, but we'd have caught them. And uh, so that was disappointing that we didn't have that one big swing when we had some people on base where we got one up in the air to right, right center and watch it blow out of the park. And, uh, you know, that's the way the game works. You know, you play outside and you got elements and uh, sometimes you got to swing to it, play to it, whatever. Also, I mean, I know this is probably a stupid question, but is there any part of you that's a little bit like relieved that the streak of winning all these SEC series in a row is over that now you can just kind of go play baseball and try to get better and all that? Uh, I'll be honest with you. I could care less about the streak. I don't think the players, we don't even talk about it. And uh, I mean, it's, it's the media and that's probably about the only people to talk about it. In my opinion, we, we have never mentioned it one time. We just, we just try to win the game that's in front of us. So I don't. I, I would rather win every series as long as I'm coaching here, honestly. All right, Bob, close this out, please. Dave, that, that being said, I mean, 13 straight SEC series, uh, maybe could you put that in perspective? I mean, I know it was a disappointing loss today, but pretty yeah. <clears throat> pretty incredible run you guys had. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's tough to win a game sometimes on the road. And uh, to, win, to win, I guess, probably half of those are on the road. Um, I would think uh, it's just we've had some good pitching. We've gotten timely hitting. We played well on the road the last couple of years and and then obviously played pretty well at home. But, um, yeah, you know, credit to the players, man. They, they want to win. Well, what did you see from Wiggins today? I know he had some guys on base early and got out of it. And then, like you were saying, they got, they got the balls up in the air. What did you think of Wiggins overall? He just made a few mistakes. You know, the home run, the first one to the lefty, I mean, the pitch was supposed to be in and you watch a replay on the big board and it, 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 it just drifted right out over the middle of the plate. 
And uh, I think one of the home runs might have been on an 0-2 pitch. I can't remember exactly. But, again, it was I think it was a breaking ball left up, and he just clubbed it, put some backspin on it. And so you take away a couple, three pitches, you know, his outing was pretty good. Um, you know, he got himself into some jams. They got some hits. But, you know, take away the two swings, he finds a way to get himself out. And uh, hopefully have a better one next weekend. In Florida, you know, they'd lost six in a row to you guys. They'd lost six in a row in the league. They're obviously a good program. Um, did you kind of get the feeling they kind of had their backs against the wall and, you know, came out swinging these last couple of games? Oh, yeah. I mean, we knew that coming down here, what we were running into, a, a team that was really needing some SEC wins and, and uh, you know, have a lot of talent on their team. And I'm sure there were a lot of talks and meetings going on over the last week or two. And, um, you know, they went out and played a midweek game and just absolutely hammered somebody and they were waiting on us. We got them on Thursday and they didn't do a whole lot. And then uh, obviously the last two days, they, they got their hits. I know you probably haven't been thinking much about UAPB, but that obviously we should ask you about next week. You got five games in five days. Is that just um, the way the schedule falls? God, how, how do you handle that, I, especially with, with your pitching next week? We got enough pitching. We we got enough, and we won't use anybody that we're going to use on Thursday. Either one of those games, if you know, maybe somebody that could pitch on Friday or a little on Saturday might go Tuesday. And we got a couple guys that you might need to throw an inning or two that can still come back on the weekend. Uh, we need to play good defense, and we need to score runs, and uh, we need pitchers to throw the ball over the plate. I'm looking forward to those games. I want to see some guys pitch, and I'm going to play some guys that haven't played a lot. And, uh, you know, I'll rest a couple guys if I need to. And you got a pretty mature team. Obviously, you got a mature coaching staff. Um, five games in five days, is that, you know, is that, like I say, it sounds like you're looking forward to it. Or how do you feel about that? That's not something you see a lot in college ball, five games in five days. Well, you know, we we could – we could have moved one of those games. We could have moved that Wednesday game if we wanted. We could play two Tuesday if we really wanted to play all five games. But we'd rather play one a day. Uh, baseball players like to play baseball and come out and play. Uh, it's either that or practice, so they'd rather play. And uh, so let's play. That's the way we look at it. Okay, I, th I think I'm good. Th thanks, Dave. All right, Coach. Thanks for your time. Okay. Have a safe trip home. Thank you.